Okay, so I just wanted to, I'm painting on the Glade Gristmill with my palette knife. As I said, I paint from start to finish with palette knife and um, kind of a push and pull with rocks and rock walls and all kind of interesting things that go on. All kind of interesting things that go on in the background. As you can see, I got a little brownish over here. I don't want that brown in there. So I'm taking it out, making it a little darker area. So the lighter areas come towards you naturally. So this wall, rock wall that's kind of holding up the buildings and is set behind the water wheel is um, you know, a little warmer in temperature. and kind of stands out a little bit more and it very much directs you back along that way, that water wheel. I'm taking a little bit of my dark brown, adding some blue to it on my palette. Going to add some dark gray that I mixed up from the primary colors. And I like, I'm going to like this darker area. I want this to be darker back here. And kind of a dark line, dark set that kind of goes to make a softer edge. I'll show you how I do softer edges with my knives here. So really it's a it's a really good trick. So it's called a paper towel. These are the ones that I use a lot. And I'm just going to blur this line here and just take it over into that rock wall to kind of piece them together. And I'm just going to go in little circles with my palette knife. It gets a lot of color on it. Now let's come back and readjust that wheel. So some of this pretty blue that I made over here, I'm going to continue it on over here to kind of just set these rocks down a little bit so they feel like they're connected. I like the bluish color reflecting up into the darker area. Came down some of that brownish area, although it looks fine in there. Kind of sets those rocks down on the rocks that are going to come below it. And this guy, I kind of turned in there. I like some of that red there, so I'm going to keep it there. But I'm also going to match it in with some of this green yellow. Very, very more on the yellow side than green to reflect some of the colors that I'm going to have above. Flatten the rock a little bit, make continuous shapes. I don't want straight lines. Definitely making rocks that have a little bit more of a flat spaces on them. Some that stick out in different areas in different ways. So you want to take your knife and work downward, almost creating a line. These a little bit darker, a little bit warmer texture color here. Kind of a okay. To grab some of that blue, turns it into a bit of a purple. And I'm going to take the and just scratch in various places where light can hit on those rocks. Let's put a nice contrast right there. Okay.
don't want it anywhere. You just want to pull out rocks every so often here and there just to give some interest. Trail the eye a little bit, direct it a little bit here and there. Maybe this is a little deeper crevice, so it's a little darker. So painting with palette knife is a lot like sculpting. And we are doing it with nice colors. I like how the got a little bit of a reddish purple. I like how that's playing off against some other areas. So one of the things that I'm looking at right now is this is almost a very straight line right in this area. I don't want it to be a straight line there. So I'm going to bring over a little cooler in temperature light and connect them. Like so. We'll come down below that with some of this darker brownish green, bluish, I mean, sorry, green, black, brown, kind of a more blue now because I slammed it. That's all right because I want it to be blue and put it in a couple areas where it'll just push that rock back a little bit more. You can tell I did not do anything with this black dark. I like that there, so I'm going to keep it there. Another. So you can see I'm playing with grays. So again, it's a constant back and forth with darker areas. Just drag, you can hear it scraping. I just drag the color down and then pull it back with my light colors. Connect these two, I'm just coming with a little bit lighter color a couple different places so again constant back and forth with them when you see an area that looks a little too straight and you want to make it a little different like that area there just pop in a color Make sure you don't have any hard edges. Make sure your texture is what you want your texture to be. Because that forms a hard edge as well. That light has a way of finding its way different places. So that's basically how I mess around and play with my dark areas.